Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I know it's lousy and kind of grainy and probably pretty small, um, but it's a it's a great movie to talk about the introduction to the atom. All right, so let's make sure we fill in our notes. I'm not going to go into nearly as much detail as they did, but here we go. The earliest model of the atom, 400 BC, was Democritus, the Greek philosopher who came up with the idea of the atom by, oh my goodness, you won't believe it, he was thinking about it. This is what happens when you don't have a cell phone, an iPad, an iPod, uh, Xbox, a Wii, a TV, computer, internet. You don't have all that crap. So there you are, you're just sitting on a rock with nothing better to do than look at the sky. And you think, what am I sitting on? And Democritus thought, well, I'm sitting on a rock that's made out of parts. Those parts are probably made out of other parts. Ultimately, that stuff he was sitting on came down to a small, indivisible particle, which he was going to call an atom. All right? So, Democritus' hypothesis was that all things were made up of small, hold on, indivisible particles, which he called atoms. Not sure exactly how to write that. All right, and the video went into detail a little bit about where the word atoms come from, uh, but make sure you have those filled in. Now, in your homework, in your homework, you're asked to draw the model of each one and describe their main principles. So, if you had to draw Democritus's model, it would look something like this: a circle. That's just about it. And its major points are that the atom is indivisible, meaning it can't be decomposed or cut apart at all. All right, so very simple. That's Democritus's model. We would expect that it wouldn't be in a lot of detail because of the technology he had back then. All he might have um, is a magnifying glass. They had lenses back then. So the only thing he could do was to look at the small parts of rock and imagine what makes up their smallest parts. And ask that question, like they said in the video, how big is small? So he's the first one in recorded history to talk about the actual atom. All right.